Hey, buddy. What's going on? What's my dance? I think, uh, is this my dance? Pretty sure this is my dance. Yeah, there we go. I'll join this guy. Why not? You know, I feel like I always say ahoy when I'm greeting people in these, uh, dinosaur games. I don't know why. It's kind of a thing I do. Man, it really just puts it into perspective how much bigger dinosaurs are than Ice Age creatures. Klenikin, or Kalenkin. Yeah, it's, uh, Kalenkin, not Klenikin. Um, yeah. So, sorry to be all, uh, erm, um, actually about it. But, yeah. Klenikin, I... I just did it again. I'm calling it Klenikin. Klenikin is, like, what, six feet tall? And that's a Rex. So... Look at that. That looks cool. I don't know, man. This perspective from a Terra Bird is just kind of cool. Can I make that jump? I think I can. Okay, I jumped a little too late, but we still made it over anyway. I am very happy that there is a decent Ice Age animal mod in this game. There is a, uh, like a Mammoth mod and a Sabertooth mod, but they're not very good. They don't look good, and they're just, I don't know, they're kind of tacky. But this one is, like, the first Ice Age mod that actually looks decent, so that's why we're playing it. Did I already empty this burrow? No, I didn't. Okay, we need this. Gotta kill Didelphodons. They deserve it after what they did to that T-Rex. That was the quickest critter kill I've ever done. Usually those things are a pain in the ass to hit. That's gotta be some kind of record. I was three for three. No hitbox glitches. All right, if I remember correctly, we're more likely to find the tiger nuts on this side of the river here. So I'm gonna cross. Hopefully there's no bad guys in here. Nope, looks like we're chilling. Actually, wait, I think I was wrong. I think they are back on that other side. I actually think they're closer to Grand Plains. There is a little land bridge I can cross here, so that works out, actually. Kalenkin grows very fast. I started this thing less than an hour ago, and I'm already, uh, this far through the, uh, adolescent stage. Here they are, here are the Tiger Nuts. I knew they were over here. The fact that I'm learning where Tiger Nuts spawn on this map should probably act as a red flag. So those of you who are concerned about my mental sanity, Path of Titan's prowess is inversely proportional to the amount of friends you have in real life. I want to keep grinding for one of these skins. The Kalenkin has some very good skins. I like this one, the Connor, um, Conyer, however you pronounce that. Uh, this one's nice. Uh, I also like this one because <laughs> it's literally just a pigeon. <laughs> so I think this will probably be the one that I end up going for. You know, as much as everyone makes fun of the whole collecting flowers aspect, when you're bored and just looking to relax for a while, this is honestly a good game to do it in. This game does have a really rare ability to gaslight you into thinking that collecting sticks and flowers is fun. Well, I guess collecting flowers in real life could be fun. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gone, like, traditionally flower picking, actually, now that I think about it. Like, I don't know. Maybe I've seen a flower and, like, you know, picked it out of the ground, but, like, is that is that a thing people do? Do people, like, actually go flower picking? Or do we not do that because of, like, we don't want to hurt the flowers or something? I don't know. Why do I not know this? I feel like I should. Then again, I don't really see the point of picking flowers unless you have someone to give the flower to, like a significant other or something. So, hmm. Maybe that's a good date idea. Keep that in mind. There we go, quest complete. Now we gotta get Lakeweed. And our buddy is going to Grand Plains. May God rest his bird soul. Speaking of birds, I actually recently got around to watching the Angry Birds movie, which was something that was on my bucket list for a while now. Yeah, I, I know, the Angry Birds movie is on my bucket list. The reason I was interested in it is because I heard some um, theories about an underlying meaning of the film, and <laughs> it, it's exactly as the theories proclaim it is. It's actually kind of insane. If you haven't researched it, I highly recommend looking into the political undertones of the Angry Birds movie. It's a fucking wild comparison that they used the angry birds and the funny green pigs for an allegory about socio-political issues in the modern day age. Huh. That's a mega raptor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm literally sitting just to gain as much stamina as I can. 
Hopefully he doesn't notice me. Okay, I'm standing. Uh... Oh, he's friendly? You really don't have to worry about other players half the time in this game. Oh, is that another Kalenkin back there? Is he attacking something? Oh, we got a pack of Kalenkins here, going after a baby Giganotosaurus. Well, you know what? I'll help them. Why not? Want to get some action in, you know. You know how it is. It's laggy pretty bad, though. Ow, I got my toe stepped on. It, wow, it's really laggy at the moment. Jesus. Maybe I should just stay back. I don't know how much damage they'll do. This is crazy. We're all adults here. And the baby gig is the size of us. Ow, damn it. Another day of praying they fix the goddamn lag in this game it is way too much. Oh, God. Just imagine how much more fun it would be. Like, I've been enjoying Path of Titans recently, but it would be just even more fun if, uh, oh, I got the kill. Nice. It would be even more fun if, uh, you know, there was just not that much lag. Hope these guys join me. We could have four Kalenkins in a single pack. You gonna join? Um. Okay, bye guys. Left alone again. I feel like this is a common theme with me. Also, you know, now that we're pretty close to adult, I feel like I should probably show off the, uh, the calls. So this is the one call. Two call. Three call. Four call. And F call. So, yeah. Pretty solid calls. Very good sound design. Uh, you know, it's pretty much what you would expect from a terror bird. I like the clicking. So I've got my basic medium damage bite here. I've got a low damage bite that does bleed, which is that. And then I've got this ability, which is like a little fluff. You like do a feather fluff and then it gives you a speed boost. So I'll do it while I'm running. Um, it just goes like this. There you go. See that. Um, and then the other attack is the kick attack, which can only be used while running, which I'm, I'm assuming it's more powerful than the bite. Oh, there we go. Our group mate way over there uh, finished the quest. Thank you, buddy. Uh, is there more lake weed? There be yes, there is lake weed over there. All right, let's give it a jump. Let's get a remaining lake weed here. Here's two pieces, or three pieces. Oh, there's the rest. All right, there we go. Uh, what do we have left? Uh, we have to get mushrooms in here now. This has been such a boring video. But hey, listen, you know what? Usually, I'm doing this by myself. And then I cut all the boring stuff out for you. So... Today, you're suffering with me. You can't have it good all the time, guys. I think these mushrooms are new, because I don't remember these. Babe, wake up. New Path of Titans mushrooms dropped. <sighs> Gonna gain some stem, and then we will murder our last Adelphodon. What's up, bitch? One, two. Uh, you know what? I want to finish him with a kick. Nope, apparently not. Okay. We're oh, he's locked in the tree. All right. There we go. That, that, that was just skill on our part. See, I intentionally herded him into the tree so that he would have no route of escape. Outsmarting AI is my specialty. All right, we've got a kill herbivore quest next, which is a good thing and a bad thing because the kill herbivore quest, you know, you gotta kill an herbivore. But once you kill the herbivore, you get a lot of marks from that, I believe. This is a scenic area. I don't think I've ever been on this ridge here overlooking the swamp. It's really too bad, because this entire swamp is salt water. So there's literally no reason for anyone to go there. I do think that's the fatal flaw of Gondwa as a map. The only freshwater sources are like this river here, the crater, and uh, this stretch in the middle of the map, and that down there. Um, I think that might be freshwater too. And I know the hot springs is fresh water, and I think that is as well. But, like, this entire area over here, except for this one little blip here, there's, like, no water here. Like, there's a couple tiny blips here and there, but it's just, you know, everyone, like, you know, even in real life, animals just congregate near water. 
So, you know, why wouldn't they? They need it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like if the water layout was a bit better on this map, it would have more players spread out, I guess. But even then, something like Impact Crater, that's going to always draw all the attention if it's that obvious of a hotspot. I need one more pile of cactus. See, I don't know what it is. The quests in this game are addicting. I've been, like, gaslit into thinking they're fun. It's crazy. Oh, there we are. We've hit adult. Uh, what are you? That's a mega raptor. He's stealing all the cactuses. Cacti. Sorry. I wonder if we could take him on. It would be a bit goofy to see a terror bird trying to take down a mega raptor. I don't know. I might try it. You should never underestimate little guys in Path of Titans. And I am the little guy. Okay, here's more cactuses. Cacti. Hey, bud. Yeah, he was gonna go for me anyway. Hit him. Okay, he's got that bite enabled. The uh, vampire bite. Good to know. Okay, I hit him. Alright. That is a nice skin. I really like that. Very arid looking. Uh oh. Watch out for that. Man, this guy, the Kalemkin, so agile. Go for the kick. Ooh, ouch. That kind of hurt. I wonder if he's faster than me. I don't think he is. I could probably outrun him. Yeah, we are very agile. Alright. Uh oh. Damn it. Alright. Gonna try and hit him with the bludgeon. Made him bleeding. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I doubt we've done a lot to him. Oh, whoa! Come on, game! Ooh, he's crouching. He's getting smart now. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's getting... Okay. Yeah. I think I'm gonna dip. Yeah. I don't know if I could beat him myself. Maybe if I had a group. He doesn't like me. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip. It ain't worth it. I ain't losing marks over this. I mean, let's be honest, it would be very stupid if a solo terror bird could down a Mega Raptor. 8.01 p.m. We already got a Packy fighting a Kalemkin here, and nobody is hitting anybody. Yeah, just as I predicted. I would have to probably attack a bigger and slower herbivore if I want to get this herbivore kill quest done. Maybe I could try and down a Lambio. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Tail Whip's too strong. I mean, unless I group with this guy. Maybe I can team up with you. Man, the Kalemkins today are just- Oh, okay, he did actually join me. Wow, look at that. I was expecting him to just not care. Seems like everyone's favorite subspecies for the Kalemkin is the one that I picked. Um, the one with the eyebrows and the feathers- our friends? Really? So I can't attack them. Because they're your guys' friends. Yeah, you know what? Screw this. I ain't dealing with that. And a Marg is probably way too much for me to take on. I mean, even a Lambio, because their Tail Whip is super strong. But, I don't know. Maybe if I hang around, I'll find something able to be killed. Something up on that rock. More Kalenkins. Maybe these guys will be of a help. Well, they're friendly. And there we go. We have a new family. We've gone through like four of them this video. Oh, there's a Styraco herd down there. I don't really want to fight a Styraco herd. If it was one Styraco, maybe, but I heard of them. No, thank you. All right, well, here's the Lambio. Now that we've got a group. You know what? Let's do it. Ooh, good thing I dodged that. Alright, now the gang should be coming in. We just gotta avoid the Amargas and get the Lambio. Hit him. Nice. Got a threaten call for the Amargas. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even notice they were there. Go for the Lambio, guys. We can do it. Oh yeah, I forget we can kick too. Uh, I don't know why I'm forgetting but I have that. Yeah, he just went for the kick. Uh, Lambio has a kick too, don't forget. Oh my god, this lag. This is unreal right now. Go for it! Ow, that kind of hurt. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. It's perfectly doable with a pack of us. Got him. Ouch. 
All right, we've got him on the move. Got him. Ouch. Oh, uh, Marga, don't. Oh, we're running right through the herd. I need to be paying more attention. <laughs> wow, the Lambia's like, Styes, please help me. Yes, I see you, Para. You're very pretty. We know. Got food? Who got food? Scarecrow. Where's Scarecrow? I don't know where Scarecrow is. He's all the way over there? This hunt was fun, though. Don't tell me they're all just gonna give up. Okay, I guess we're all giving up. I guess we're going to Scarecrow. This is why I don't always enjoy pack-oriented dinosaurs. Nobody knows how to have fun half the time. Nobody trusts their power. I mean, if this was the Isle, we wouldn't have stood a chance against the Lambio, especially being this size. But where's this food you're talking about? What food? There ain't nothing there, buddy. I, there's, there's a there's a meat slab. That's it. I swear to God. And Path of Titans, if you're a little thing, you can dodge and take a, quite a few hits. Like, really no reason to, uh, to be so cowardly. I like this skin. That one's very nice. 12 seconds later. Oh, are we gonna fight Packies now? I mean, I'm down for it. Yeah, they're fighting. <laughs> I didn't know because we're not in combat because nobody's hit each other yet. There we go. Finally got a hit on him. Oh, we're actually wrecking this Packy right now. He looks very hurt. Ouch. Um, I can't see a thing. Uh, where am I looking? There's the Packy. Okay. Uh, going for a kick. Um, I think I hit my friend and the Packy there. I think the Packy's... Oh, there's a second Packy. Bludgeon. Bite him. Okay. Uh, where, where's, where's the main Packy? Did he run? Okay, I guess we're going for this one now. We totally lost the other one. But this one looks hurt, too. Oh my god. D dang game! Damn it! Please! <laughs> Be normal. He's gonna lag soon. I can feel it. He's gonna lag soon. Almost to him. Catch up. Wait, speed boost. What am I doing? Uh, okay, I hit him. Oh yeah, he's on the run. Okay, don't waste too much stamina, because he's going to waste a lot of his. Oh, there's the other Packy. Don't worry about him. Dodge him. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Keep going, keep going. Speed boost. Oh. Rock, are you see? <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep running, keep running. Where even are we? I don't even know. Jesus, this Packy's like ultra instinct right now. Oh, God. He's right here. Still on him. Running low on stamina. I'm like the only one who's been able to keep up with him. Come on, come on. Yes, I hit him. Good, good, good. Come on, he's gotta be low. He's gotta be so low on stamina right now. Got him! Yes! And we got the kill herbivore quest too. Oh, I managed my stem perfectly there. It was it was a risk reward situation right there. What what the hell? Okay, oh, does he want to eat his friend? Alright, I guess we're still fighting them. Oh my god, th these Packies are literally Ultra Instinct. Oh my Jesus, this Packy's really unhappy about his friend right now. And then we've got the other Packies just watching. I'm assuming they're not affiliated with this guy. Did that- no, that didn't hit. Okay. Did that hit? No? Seriously? What is that stomp- oh, there's a Stego. This is just absolute chaos right now. This Packy's close to dead. Okay, I think I hit him there. This is the longest, most frustrating fight I think I've had in this game. And yet somehow I feel no anxiety whatsoever. Oh, I got another hit on him. Uh, please don't hit me. Is he running? Yeah, he's running. No, I ain't letting him get away after all that. No. You think you can just leave after that? I don't think so. Using the speed boost. I don't think it was worth it there, actually. Risk reward was not my favor. Yeah, I'm out of stamina. Gosh, that Packy was just not having any of it. I get wanting to avenge your friend, but only do that if you know you can capably win. Um, where's the body, anyway? It's gone? Already? This is just the cutest lake in existence. I love this area. It looks especially beautiful uh, during the daytime. There's, like, dust in the air, like rock dust. It looks so cool. It's, like, all gray and desaturated, but it looks awesome. Oh my god, more terror birds attacking dinosaurs. Why would you as a terror bird attack an Eotrike? And a Stego. This is a very lame fight. I'm going down here. I've got rocks to nab. 
You wouldn't. Oh. Are they? They are. Alright. In this lag? Come on, guys. Be a little smarter than that. I just want my rocks. You know what? I don't care. I'm getting my rocks. Just using the lag to my advantage here. Uh, they're attacking another terror bird who's not with me, but they don't know that. Keep getting rocks. Keep getting rocks. Keep getting rocks. Keep getting rocks. <laughs> keep getting the rocks. <laughs> no, no, no. Just keep, keep taking rocks. Get to 70. Come on, I got 20 more. 20 more. Go, 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 go. Oh, I've been hit. Um, that could actually be a good thing because it may alert the, uh, the guys to my presence that I am being attacked because I don't think any of them know and I, it's not like I could slow down right now. Uh, five more rocks, come on. Three more. Two more. One more. Now we dip. <laughs> oh, I was gonna dip, but Scarecrow's here, so I'll try and help, I guess. Jesus Christ! Got him. <laughs> I cannot believe I collected 70 rocks with these backies chasing me. <laughs> Excuse me? Run, bitch, run! Don't, no, don't face me. You're supposed to run like a bitch. Oh, come on. Hit him. Ooh! Did Packy take full damage? No, of course not. Would they be afraid? They're climbing the rocks. Have we actually pushed them up this far? Nice! Yeah, that one looks fairly hurt. He's got a rip in his leg. Uh, bird! Bird, move! What are you doing? Bird, move! I'm so shocked he can climb this. He's going back down. Gotcha, gotcha. This is quite a battle. No. No, bird. You're not doing this. Wait, I'm the bird. What am I talking about? No, bird, you are doing this. Packy, you're not doing this. I, I've so got him. He's on the ropes. Uh, can I climb right here? Oh, crap. Uh, where's he going? I think he's- No, no, no! Game, please! Um... Someone got kicked from the group. Uh, did a Packy die? Or did it, I- This is... I, I hope you're just as confused as I am right now. Um... Oh! He did die. I thought I heard that. I'm gonna contest this. I want the food. Yeah. He doesn't want any of it. Maybe he just didn't want to eat his friend, though. I'd be embarrassed to do that. So, it wasn't a technical kill that I earned just now. But, you know, I, I'm saying I killed this guy. I was the one who made him panic and fall off the cliff, so... And I did the most damage. Who knows, maybe if I didn't do all that damage to him, he uh, would not have died. One hour later. We could actually attack this Rex. He's just sitting. Oh. Well, I guess we're going for the concavenator. Why attack the little things in this lag? It's just such a pain in the ass. The servers usually never like this is the crazy thing. Oh, he's going to the water. Yeah, he's got his... Does he have dive equipped? Yeah, he does. Told you guys we should have gone for the Rex. Well, actually, we got a Thal fighting the Rex. We could just steal the kill from whoever wins. If a Thal wins against the Rex, Rex needs a buff in this game because holy crap. I mean, even a young Rex should not be losing to a goddamn Thalassodromius. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the Thal's winning. Why isn't the Rex tail whipping? Please, I beg you, he'd be winning if he was tail whipping. And just be smarter with your precise movement, I guess. Thal got bit. See, that should be a dead Thal right there. He should just be crushed. Look, I know, it's a young Rex, but to be put on the edge by a Thal, I mean, I don't know. There we go. Alright. Let's steal this. This T-Rex is just getting bullied today. Yeah, he's not giving up. Alright. Is he giving up? Yeah, he's giving up. There we go. 62 marks for feeding our friend. <laughs> There's an ungrouped... 
Kalemkin attacking the Rex. This, this is, oh my god, this is so upsetting. There's four of them. Guys, this is really upsetting to watch. Half of Titan's Rex is like Jurassic World Rex. They want you to love it so bad. But it's just the most pathetic and cringe thing in existence that gets wrecked by everything. Yep, yep, yep. Who could have seen that coming? Whoa, a Rex lost in Path of Titans. Shocking turn of events. What are we fighting? Fighting a UT, apparently. Got it. Uh, let me get Stam, and I'll help you guys in a sec. Come on. Come on, game. Why, why, why are you standing there? The, move, you're gonna die, man. There we go, finally got a hit. There we go, got a kick, got a peck. Ooh, he's running. Down the hill. Oh, he took some damage from that. So did I, but not as much as he did, probably. Damn, we just double freaking sliced his ass. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> so far, Kalenkin honestly probably needs a nerf. It's way too tanky for what it is. This thing should be dying in just a couple hits to like most dinosaurs. Five more rocks, that's all I need. One, two, three, four. There should be a fifth one right here, right? Finally, there we go. Okay, did that get us enough for the skin yet? We need a hundred more. <laughs> okay, we kill a Platyhistrix. And then we should be good to go. I'm noticing that Kalenkin has a sickle claw similar to a raptor. You know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that's a thing it actually had in real life. It had like a, you know, not as crazy as a raptor's claw, but it had uh, a similar one. Hey, look at that. That's cool. All right, let's look at what we got in the skin department. We can afford this one. Uh, we could actually afford this one. I do like that. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that, but that one looks really good. <laughs> what are they- <laughs> what are they doing? Kestrel is also really cool. I don't know which one I want, honestly. I think I'm gonna go for the pigeon. Pattern 2 on it looks pretty good as well. Oh my god, the board UT, it's necks broken and everything. A few moments later. <laughs> I stole the last flower from him. Oh, that was funny. And it gave me 250 marks, so you know what? Sometimes stealing is okay. Speaking of stealing, I need to steal a drink of water over here. What's happening here? Pike now? And... Oh! Who could have seen this coming? More terror birds! Going for the stego. Because of course they're not going for the ear trike. The stego is just an easy kill. Up. Oh. Yep, there he goes. Okay. Terror birds taking out a Stegosaurus. Yup, that that makes total and complete sense. Mm-hmm. Right. Our skin also looks very nice too. Look at it. You know, I thought it would be a little like silly looking because haha -ha, pigeon. But I mean it's genuinely nice. I am the death pigeon. There's the death pigeon. And there's the dead pigeon. Oh wait, no. He's not dead. He's asleep. Never mind. I think I'm gonna call it here. It's because I've been on for a while. This has been a long play session. I feel absolutely no fear as this terror bird. Nothing can kill me. Nothing is fast enough. Nothing does enough damage to take me out of commission. And the lag is really in my favor, so... Make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord server. Don't forget about that. Link in the description. Take care. You know what I think the biggest contrast in the world is? What? The stark difference between snake girls and shark girls. Oh. Like, do you already kind of understand what I'm getting at? Uh, yeah. Like, a snake girl is the biggest red flag in existence, while a shark girl is a massive green flag. Like, yeah, do you, well, do you get what I mean? The, the shark girl has a uh, a quality of wanting to preserve nature and the ocean, right? The snake girl just likes snakes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> usually, usually, unless the shark girl is probably fucking crazy. I mean, doubt it. You know, you I mean, granted, when it's on the ocean. I mean, you know, I have personal 
experience with the snake girl variety. Yeah. Fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the snake girls are doing with the snake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nasty thing about. Bro, you could not fucking trust them. They're psychos. Yeah. Not even in like a good way either. I mean, I guess- So you actually knew a snake girl? Yeah. By who? Well, I thought she was- I forgot you mentioned she likes snakes. Though. Yeah. I completely forgot. Yeah, that. no, her favorite animal. <laughs> Snakes? Yeah. Total fucking red flag, bro. I guess there's an author out there that gets wrote that fucking plot line. The I know, the devil incarnate. <laughs> Snakes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean the Literally. snake manipulated uh, you know. Yeah, I should I should have seen it coming, honestly. Should have seen it coming. Like, honestly, like all, all the right all the signs were there, but no.